Right, Max Toll from our foreign desk is back in the studio with us to bring us up to speed with where everything is at. Max, give us a bit of an overview. It's incredibly tight, and I think it's highly unlikely that we're going to see a winner declared tonight. And that's because, as you've talked about over the past couple of hours, that blue wall, that rust belt strip of states uh, in the Midwest, Wisconsin, Michigan, Pennsylvania, yep. they are looking like being the key, and there will be a large number of early votes, postal votes in those states that just won't be counted tonight. That's because some of the southern states that uh, Democrats were hoping to flip, Florida, Ohio, potentially Texas was a long shot, Georgia, they really looked like being uh, safe for Donald Trump. Some have been called, some haven't. That's because of the very uh, unprecedented nature of this election because of the pandemic and the way votes uh, votes have been uh, made and the way votes are being counted. <sighs> uh, you've had Iowa go to yep. Donald Trump. He won that in 2016 quite comfortably. You've had Virginia just in the past 20 minutes go to Joe Biden. That was a state that Hillary Clinton won quite comfortably in 2016. Arizona is yet to be called by CNN, but other news media outlets are calling it for Joe Biden. That's significant because it will be the first state that the Democrats have flipped red to blue. And we're hearing Donald Trump is not so happy about the fact that it's been called early by his favoured TV channel of Fox. So exactly, 11, Fox News has called yeah, it, but other yeah. media outlets are yet to call it for Joe Biden. Right, OK. So how did the polls get some of these states so wrong? Well, yeah, look, Florida... Florida it, is the one, it, really, isn't absolutely, it? Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, Donald Trump looks like winning it by more than 3%. The last polls heading into Election Day had Joe Biden in a 4, 5, even 6-point lead. You know, this is a disastrous election for pollsters. <laughs> I think they'll be taking a good, long, hard look in the proverbial mirror. Um, and also, how did they underestimate Donald Trump's support? Are we talking about uh, shameful Trump voters who may say one thing on the phone and then act differently in the booth? Are we looking at some kind of concerted effort to deceive the polls, uh, which has been mentioned as some as, as a, something that's been happening in America? Or um, are Republicans, are Trump supporters just not responding to polls because they've been told by Donald Trump that they're fake. So many potentially just don't respond to the phone calls to the pollsters when they get in contact with them. Best guesses, Max. How long are we going to be waiting for a result? Yeah, not tonight. <laughs> um, potentially, not even tomorrow, but I think we should probably see a result tomorrow, tomorrow afternoon, our time. Uh, and again, that's just because of the sheer overwhelming number of early votes that won't be counted, particularly in Pennsylvania. But look, the election... Which, obviously, critical Pennsylvania. Absolutely. Yeah. It, and, and if things continue along their current course, I think you're looking at saying win two of Wisconsin, Michigan and Pennsylvania and you win the election for either candidate. Thanks, Max. We'll stay in touch as the states start coming in with their final results. That's Max Toll, who is keeping across all of those results for us.